Shalom. Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakwadash. We give double honors to our apostles and other elders at Great Millstone that told us his truth. And um, salutations to the brothers uh, pushing the truth. Salutations to you, brothers, pushing the truth throughout the four corners of the earth. And shalom to the hopeful elect out there. Okay, and um, listening to the brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, uh, you know, from our camp, he was going into a lesson about uh, the acts of uh, the apostles. And, um, you know, I, Brother, you know, he, it was a beautiful lesson. And, um, you know, it just kind of inspired me to speak on this. You know, I, I kind of harp on this uh, often. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's a reality to uh, what we're reading. These men actually, um, when I say those men, I mean, the men in the Bible, they actually went through hardships. They actually physically, like, went through things. Because, you know, here in this lifetime, you know, we've been kind of raised in a in a, in a real, very, very um, soft, emotional, um, you know, I'm going to just say bitch, bitch made era, you know. Um, you know, uh, it, it, this this society breeds um, effeminate men. And, uh, you know, when you read the scriptures, of course, the Lord puts puts his spirit upon those men in which... When the Lord puts his spirit upon you, you become, you know, it's it's a manly spirit. The Holy Spirit is a is a is a is a it's a it's a spirit from it comes from the heavens. And um as you read, you know, the scriptures and, and, and these men go through these things, of course the, the spirit, you know, it uh, it helps them go through those trials and tribulations. But nevertheless, there there's a reality to the scriptures and, and you know that's you know, persecution. You know, we we go have to. I got this scripture queued up because um, you know, hey, ain't no way. To, hey, look, man, it's no, it's no way to the kingdom, but through we got to go through the through, through the, we got to go through it. We got to go through what the the prophecies that are written. Now, everybody has a different lot, but um, Matthew twenty four nine. Then they should deliver you up to be afflicted and they should kill you. And you should be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So we're going to be hated. Are you, 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 you know, you ready to be hated? That's why, you know, and this message goes for, you know, if you're an Israelite, calling yourself an Israelite. <laughs> okay. The A. Hey, you know, we, we do these videos to, um, you know, exhort, comfort, you know, rebuke, um, you know, all these things. You know, this is the reality of the scriptures. You're going to be hated by everybody for 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 being a follower of you. How was shy? Um, your family, you know, your co-workers, it says everybody. You know, uh, you going back to the the wiles of the devil, Esau, you know, setting up false flags, which he's done already. <coughs> but um, who knows? Greater ones can happen. You, you could be we could be called terrorists. We, who, who knows? Just get throwing out scenarios. But the scriptures say what they say. There's going to come a point in time where it's going to be one day to where. It's just going to be no more work. No more going to work for you. Uh, your name might be on the news if, you know, it's not going to be cool to be an Israelite soon. You know, a lot of men, they they they, they come into this truth in a very festive, um, a very festive um, attitude, and which is beautiful. And we always, we always talk about these things. But it's good to keep mentioning it because these things are about to happen. Like we are really going to be like banned in a sense from preaching the word. 
on, on, you know, the days that we go out and preach and speak about, like these things are, it's about to like shut down. Like, you know, and, and since we came into the truth, you know, this is kind of been like a normal thing for us. But, you know, it, it, it's going to change. Now, we don't know when, you know, the scriptures tell us to watch, you know, but I'm going to keep reading. Verse 10, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Why? Because they're going to be it's offended for being hated. Read this verse 10 in, in the NLT. And many will turn away from me and betray and hate each other. That's when you're going to see who your real friends are. The scriptures say a man, your friends are going to be known in uh, roughly paraphrasing in adversity. A friend cannot be known in prosperity. A friend cannot be known in prosperity. When everything all good. So that's why the Lord tries you, man, to see if you're really his friend. <laughs> he wants to see if you down for him. He tried Abraham. He tried his own son, the beloved. How, who the hell are we? <laughs> You're gonna a lot of ye, ye Israelites out here gonna they it's the bitterness, man. The bitterness is gonna make them offended in your house shy. Oh man, this Israelite thing, hey man, I, I ain't signed up for this. That's what I'm gonna name this uh lesson. I ain't signed up for this. Yeah, yeah, this is it's a little bit too much for me, man. A lot of you go, them garments, them, them t matter of fact, them t-shirts coming off. You wearing your t-shirt fringes to the to the Walmart and to the movies, and you walking by the white man in in, in the movies or in the mall, you call him the devil. You telling him you going into slavery, being over righteous. Oh, look, hey, <laughs> Yahweh shall say, Yahweh shall about to see. Yahweh, why Yahweh? And that goes for me too. Yahweh, why Yahweh shall? He's about to see who is real, uh, which he already knows. They already know. But it's going to be made known who are the real followers of Yahweh Shai. Okay? That bitterness. All right, the scriptures talk about it. It was, it was, it was, it was sweet like honey first, but then it got into your belly and it became bitter. You know, the reality of the scriptures. We are actually playing out, playing it out again. The apostles were hated. When you read the scriptures about the the, the disciples and apostles, they were put in prison. Beaten. They were hated. All right. The servant is what did the Lord say? The servant is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. Okay. So uh, offenses are going to come. Uh, you know, hey, that's just the reality of it, man. I'm going to read verse 9 in the NLT. Then you will be arrested. Now you can't you see how you can be arrested now? Okay. The the the, the ancient uh, apostles were they were arrested. He saw uh sign legislation uh saying you can't speak about certain things or you can't do hey, it, it can happen. Then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. Hey, the scriptures say these are they that follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. So, hey, Lord willing, we are those men. OK, uh, you know, you 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 sisters, too, <coughs> you know, you sisters, too. Hey, because we, we 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 talk about the hopeful year of all the prophecies coming to pass, which hope I mean, you know, we hope. Which is a creature, creature subject unto hope. Hope's mean to expect. 
you know, Lord willing, you know, we're not saying it uh, uh, for sure, but we, we hoping and we saying Lord willing. Well, that comes with the persecution that comes with the famine of the word that comes with the MOT bizzle <laughs> that comes with all, you know, it all. And this is a part of it. This is a part. This is just a, this is a part of it. All right. So I'm um, close it there. Low Williams edifying. Shalom.